Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk of Truth Radio Podcast, and I want to encourage and implore you to become a podcaster. In today's time, there's a lot of things to be said, and there's things on your mind that other people need to know. The best way to get your word out is to become a podcaster, and the secret to podcasting is becoming part of the Anchor team. Yes, become a podcaster on Anchor FM. All you have to do is download the application and walk through the prompts and you'll find yourself podcasting before you know it. And the greatest thing about Anchor Podcasting, it is free. And guess what? You don't have to worry about distribution. They distribute it all over the planet through many different platforms. So all you have to do is be concerned about your content and they give you tools to mix your podcast with music and and sound effects. So again, I encourage you today, go to Anchor and become a podcaster. Download the app and watch how simple it is. This is Pastor Jay signing off. Stay tuned to the show and always be encouraged, be blessed and be at peace. And remember, walk in truth on Anchor Podcasting. Peace. Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk in Truth Radio. And I want to encourage you to support your local shelters. Yes, your local pet shelters. There are so many pets that are abandoned and misused and abused. And they end up in our pet shelters. And they need volunteers and they need your money. Whether it's the ASCPA or, again, your local dog pound. You need to support your shelters. They take care of the ones that we love the most. I have a German Shepherd, his name is Preacher, and I can't imagine if he got lost, that he would end up in a shelter that would not take care of him, that would not have nice volunteers that would also look after him. So let's look after those who can't look after themselves by helping support our local shelters. This is Pastor Jay for Walker Truth Radio Podcast. I always want you to be encouraged to be blessed. And remember, your local pet shelter may be where you find your next best friend. Peace. Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walker Truth Radio Podcast with your encouraging word for today. It's inspired by Romans 6 starting at verse 10 and it says for the death he died he died died to sin once for all but the life he lives he lives to God so you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus let not sin therefore Reign over your mortal body to make you what obey its passions and desires and lust. Do not present yourselves to sin as instruments for unrighteousness, but present yourselves to God as those who what have been bought from death so the question is not your profession but how are you living how are you living today how are you presenting yourself today Uh, I try to challenge people to think Uh, Robbie Zachariah said the best and that is mine philosophical motto i want to get saved people thinking and thinking people saved now for the saved people thinking how are you living your life and it was a great uh discussion yesterday at bible study and i love the discussion that goes on because it gives an opportunity to to kind of feather out your thought processes that your thoughts and your actions have consequences 
And so many times in Christian circles, we learn the language, but we don't understand what we're really saying. For instance, <clears throat> in this conversation behind this passage, the person said, well, when I sin or if I sin, is it okay to tell people that I'm a work in progress? Well, yeah, you know, you can say that, but let's 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 look behind that. Let's dig a little deeper in that in that statement. I, I myself, when I was out there in the world, was a profession Christian, but not really saved. I used to use their language just to avoid. But let's 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 see what's happening here. The saint is 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 seen by either another brother or sister in Christ or an unbeliever. And they're doing something they should not be doing. Sin. You pick the one. Pick the one you want. Now think about this. You're doing the sin. They see you. They bring it to your attention. And your first response is, I don't judge me. Quote unquote. Air quotes. I'm a work in progress. Now, is that actually true? Yes. You are being conformed into God into God's image, to Jesus' image. That's a true statement. But are you, you are you to use the word of God as an avenue to continue to sin? Because normally what happens when you say that, whatever you're doing, you're going to keep on doing it. You're not going to stop. You're not going to turn away. You're not going to look the other direction. You're going to keep doing what you're doing in that circumstance, in that sin. So with that, the unbeliever, sees you doing that and what you've done is do the passage where it says because of your behavior and your reaction to God's word you caused the Gentiles at the time the Jews were the carrier of the word you called the Gentiles the one outside the covenant to blaspheme God well now you are the church and you're doing the same thing that's what the Old Testament was written for us to warn us to not do what they did isn't it quite hypocritical that you're sitting there and then you're just going to say you're going to use God's word and God's a precept of God that's really not applicable in this situation. What you're doing is saying, I'm going to, I, this is the excuse I'm going to use to sin. God forbid. If you have been raised with him, died with him, resurrected with him and alive to him, you have the power to not present yourself, the things, your arms, your legs, your eyes, your attitudes, your mind to sin. You have a choice. And when you make a choice to sin and use the word of God so of your excuse to sin, then you are blaspheming God. Yes, you are. You are taking God's word and using it as an occasion to sin. And that is blasphemy. Now, let's say how this should have worked. You're doing the same sin. You, you fall into temptation. The person looks at you as a Christian, saint of God, child of God. The, the, the king's kid, all those little funny adjectives we use. Okay? And now they come to you and say, hey, why are you doing that? What you doing? Why are you sitting here smoking and drinking with us? You supposed to be a child of God. And that's what normally happens. They'll wait till you get good and, and relax in your sin and then they'll bring it to you. And let's say in this situation you got another brother and sister or an unbeliever and both of y'all then fell into it to believe us and the unbeliever sitting there and they both say to you, what are you doing? And you say to them, now, you know what? You're right. I shouldn't be doing this. I'll see you guys later. I shouldn't be doing this. I need to stop. Thank you for telling me this. You're right. This is not what I should be doing. Sometimes God sends messages through people who are not saved to you to keep you on track so you can repent. Because they looking at you. And guess what you've done now? In this situation, you leave the circumstance and because you get convicted by what they say and by what is in your heart about God and how much God has loved you to die for you and you're supposed to die to sin. And now you walk away from the situation. Now, you know what's the topic of the conversation going to be? It's going to be in your integrity, in your character. That once you realize you were wrong, you changed your mind and walked away from it. Now what you've done is encourage the saint that may be there and they may leave the situation and the unbeliever may be curious about what kind of God it is that if mentioned his name and reminded of his word, 
would you decide to stop doing what you used to love to do and walk away from it? Maybe instead of being a stumbling block for someone, you are the person that they say, you know what? I want to get to know a God that loves me enough to die for me. And also in his death, I am raised to newness of life and sin. The thing that I hate, the thing that I may find fleshly pleasure in for a moment, I am learning and growing into grace and not participating because not because my flesh wants to, but because greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. I am an overcomer and sin should not have no more dominion, which means control and authority over my life. You are a new creation in the newness of life. So I want you to think about that. What are the Bible verses you use or the Bible principles you use so you can continue to sin? And let me tell you, saints, one of the greatest things and the most awesome thing in the Bible that God is love. But when you use God's love to continue in sin, you are a heretic, a blasphemer, and you're not saved. I'm tired of playing with people. Your soul is too important. You cannot use God's word for occasion to sin. That falls under the the teaching of where sin abounds, grace abounds much more. And the enemies and the ignorant and the babies of Christ will say, let me continue in sin that grace should abound. Because if sin brings about grace, then let me continue to sin. And the word is, that's unconceivable, that's unheard of, that's impossible. Because if you're dead to sin, no longer will you let sin reign in your mortal bodies. This is Pastor Jay with Walk of Truth Christian Fellowship Church and uh, Walk of Truth Podcast. I always want you to be blessed, to be encouraged, and be at peace. And always remember, walk in truth. And guess what, folks? I am out of Facebook jail, but it's not going to get any easier. I just know not to be as as straightforward in my presentation to print. But also go over to YouTube, Walk a True Christian Fellowship Church. We are over there. And please hit the support button or go down to the description and hit the uh, cash app. And if you're supporting us, please. Thank you. Please continue to grow in the grace and the knowledge of Christ and love on one another. Peace. Hello, this is Pastor Jay. I'm excited to invite you to come over to listen to our broadcast on YouTube. Yes, Walk in True Christian Fellowship Church on YouTube. We have some great videos over there and you'll be able to listen to all the lessons and the podcast. So again, subscribe, like, and continue to comment and listen. This is Pastor Jay. Talk to you later. Peace. Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walker Truth Radio Podcast and Senior Pastor of Walker Truth Christian Fellowship Church. I want to invite all those in the St. Louis metropolitan area to come worship with us every Sunday at 8 a.m. at the Universal Church of Jesus Christ building located at 2301 Wallace Avenue. That's W-A-L-L-I-S Avenue 63114 in Overland, Missouri. Our Dig Deeper Bible Studies are held 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Tuesdays. Our Rescue Addiction Recovery class is being held at 7 p.m. on Mondays. We want you to come enjoy the love of God, worship with us, and go line by line and verse by verse as we travel through the Bible. We look forward to seeing you, and one of the things you can leave at home is your wallet. We want you to come sit back, enjoy the fellowship, the love, and the great teaching that goes on at Walking Truth. This is Pastor Jay. I always want you to be encouraged to be blessed, and thank you for considering us as your place of worship. Peace.